Hello young artists, it's Mr. Skolton here, and if you're like me, you are ready for summer. So today what we're going to draw is a cow who is also all ready for summer. All right, take a look at what we got here. Today I'm going to be using pencil, eraser, a permanent marker. I'm going to be using colored pencils and watercolor paints, but you can use whatever you want to color yours in. Go grab the materials you need and come join me. All right, so to get started, uh, you can start in pencil. I'm actually going to use a permanent marker so you can see. I'm gonna work here on the bottom half of my paper, and I'm gonna start by drawing a shape that's kind of a mixture between a rectangle and an oval. It's gonna have some fairly straight lines, but the edges are gonna be curved, okay? So it's gonna look something like this, and it doesn't need to be perfect. Uh, because nothing in real life is perfect, right? So we're just kind of working with uh, kind of the shape that we have here. This is going to be the nose or the muzzle of our uh, cow. And so to finish that up, I'm just going to add some nostrils. I'm going to draw the letter C over on this side. And then I'm going to draw that reflection over on the opposite side of backwards C here. The next thing I'm going to do is draw his chin and the chin is just going to be a curved line like a smile um, but I'm going to do it off to the side okay this kind of gives it some visual interest makes it kind of fun um, you can imagine that maybe he's eating some grass you could even draw some grass coming out of his mouth um, and then I'm going to draw a line that goes straight down here for his neck and then over on the other side I'm going to draw a diagonal line once again, this creates some movement. It almost looks like he's turning his head to see us, and um, it's just creating some visual interest for our viewers. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a smile shape, or a U shape, that goes just like this, and I'm gonna repeat that U shape right over here. Okay, now inside of that U shape, I'm going to draw another U-shape. These are going to be the sunglasses for our cow. Okay, just like that. Now, I'm going to connect the two ends of the inside U, but not the outside U. These are going to be kind of like the shades, the lenses here, and this is going to be the frame around the outside. I want to connect these two uh, lines here for the frame with a rainbow shape, just like that. And then I'm gonna create the top of our glasses. So I'm gonna create kind of like almost like a square shape here. It's gonna go straight until I reach this end here. I'm gonna go down a little bit and make another rainbow, just like that. Then I'm gonna go back up and over. I'm gonna pass my frames just a little bit so I can make that notch here over on the other side. Now I've got my cow's glasses. The last thing I'm going to do before I draw the rest of the cow's head is make a baseball cap uh, for my cow. If you want to do this, you can. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it. I'm going to create kind of a rainbow shape, but it's going to be a diagonal rainbow shape. So if you can think about this rainbow shape going off on a diagonal, kind of like this, that's how we're going to get started. I'm going to start here and I'm going to make almost like an S shape. Um, if that S was kind of spread out. See how it almost creates that wavy line of the letter S? From the top of the S, I'm gonna draw another diagonal line here. Now, on this end of my diagonal line, I'm gonna repeat this S shape here. So I'm gonna come in here, just like that. This is going to be the brim of the hat, and so to finish, I'm going to draw the other side of the brim of the hat going like that. Now I'm basically done. I'm just going to add a line here for the panel and a curved line up here for the top of the baseball cap. Now to finish my head, all I have to do is draw a curved line that comes down here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a cow's Horns. So I'm going to draw a curved line that comes up, and then I'm going to draw a line that curves down, just like that. I'm going to repeat that on the opposite side. Okay. 
And then underneath my horns, I'm going to draw a curved line just like this and a curved line here just like this. This is going to be my cow's ears. And I can go ahead and draw another curved line in here. This will be the inside of the ear. That'll be the outside of the ear. All right, now it's time to add our cow's spots. When you're done drawing, you can go ahead and trace. And when you're done tracing, you can go ahead and color. As you can see, I've colored in my spots and I'm ready to do some coloring. But before I color, I want to talk about um, something fun you can do here with the lenses to kind of give it the look of uh, a reflection. So when I go am ready to start coloring these in, before I color them in, I just kind of want to draw a zigzaggy line, kind of like a, a letter S again, kind of almost like we did here with our hat, but maybe with just a little bit extra curve here. Okay, I'm gonna draw that on both. And then when I go to color this in, I'm gonna color everything in except for that line. That's gonna look like the reflection in the glasses. All right, now I'm ready to start coloring with uh, a coloring material. This would be a really fun project to do with watercolors. If you have watercolors at home, I'm going to be using colored pencils. All right, when you're done, go ahead and post it so I can see it. Have fun creating, young artists.